Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for not coming to terms with my wife's 14-year-old infidelity. I 35M have been married to my wife 37F for 11 years and have been together for 14. We have a beautiful 7-year-old daughter, and our marriage has been great without any major problems until last year. Last year I learned that my wife cheated on me before our marriage. One of her friends became religious and confessed her actions to me, which had me confront my wife. She was shocked that I had learned it and apologized profusely for her actions. However, she said it's not something important now because we have been going strong and have a family together. She told me I should come to terms with it since it happened four months into being exclusive, and she was a stupid girl out of college back then. My mind told me the same. It happened 14 years ago, and we are happy right now. I decided to forgive her and continue our usual life. Reality was not that great. My mind took a big hit. I realized it's not something that happened 14 years ago for me. The cheating happened to me when my wife confirmed it. I was less confident and could not have sex with my wife. I just could not get an erection for her. This turned into feeling disgusted being around her. I even took a DNA and STD test secretly. Thankfully our daughter is mine, and I am clear of STDs. Then, a year of intense individual therapy started for me. I realized I needed to change somehow. I was not the same person I used to be. I also communicated my feelings to my wife, and after pushing a bit, we started going to couples counseling too. However, at the end of everything, I decided to proceed with divorce. Here are my reasons. She not only cheated back then, but lied to me for 14 years. She did not confess the action herself. Even though she apologized, she dismissed the fact by saying it's not important anymore. Young me was robbed of having a choice. Cheating was and still is one of the biggest deal breakers for me. If I had known it back then, I would have broken it off. I am happy with my life, and I am glad that our daughter came to the world. She is the light that shines the brightest for me. One of the biggest reasons I keep living is that I was still robbed of a choice back then. I see an MC could not understand our problems and my feelings toward her. It also started affecting family life, which could affect our daughter. I think our daughter would be better off having us as co-parents instead of living in a broken family environment where consistent arguments are present. Sex life is basically dead for me. We do have sex, but I feel like those women in film slash series who just lay and look at the ceiling, waiting for it to be over. The only difference is that I am a man, I do not even want non-sexual gestures anymore. Last week I had to sit down with my wife and explain everything I wrote here in detail, including my feelings, reasoning, and some other private things. I've been talking to a lawyer for the last month, and the papers are almost final. 50-50 custody, 50-50 assets sharing, and as amicable as possible. I explained everything thoroughly and clearly to her. She freaked out and had a panic attack. We spent the night at the air. She is begging me to reconsider and not throw away 14 years. However, even though I would like to stay, it will result in us being roommates and a broken family environment for our daughter. Am I in the wrong here? Some people reached out to me on Reddit chat to state their opinions, and we talked for a long time. They have been incredibly helpful, and I especially want to thank them. Some people asked if we went to counseling together. Yes, we have been visiting a counselor for over a year now on top of my individual therapy. I understand blowing up a marriage for something that happened 14 years ago is not logical. However, my feelings towards my wife got even worse after counseling and therapy. It started with not being able to trust her, converted to not wanting sex, then not wanting non-sexual gestures, and finally, I am not even comfortable being in the same space as her. We have been less than roommates in the last couple of months. I do not hate or resent her, but I cannot shake off my feelings. I would say I forgave her, but it's not about forgiving anymore when there are no feelings and love. I do not want my daughter to grow up in such an environment. 
I know how hurtful it can be. I experienced a similar situation with my parents, only the genders reversed. Living in such an environment breaks you as a child and a teen. I would have much preferred if my mother just divorced my dad instead of staying for my sake. This being said, I had a long talk with my wife this morning. She has not been eating much since visiting the air, and I am concerned for her well-being and safety. Some Redditors who reached out suggested considering separation before proceeding with the divorce and see if my feelings would change. That is very logical, actually. I proposed this idea to my wife, and she was happy to hear about it. I have a business trip to the Netherlands next week, and I am planning to extend my stay with my sister once I am back. My wife abruptly suggested a one-sided open marriage, and I can do what I want on that business trip if it'll save the relationship, make us even, and change my feelings. I rejected it because it has nothing to do with that. Even if it changed something for me, it would devastate her knowing I cheated on her in the future. It's not something easy to get over and not an easy decision. I have a short update about the situation. I got back from the trip and decided to divorce my wife in the end. The last straw was when my daughter told me I looked more lively and happier after I came back. I realized I was better off without my wife and just co-parenting our daughter with her. I still feel incredibly uncomfortable around my wife. My wife did not take the news well and is going down the spiral. I called MIL and Avail to have them take care of her. She caused some problems. She sent threatening messages to her friend, who told me about the cheating. I had to beg her to not sue my wife as I wanted my daughter to have a mother present in her life. However, she'll probably be taken to the mental ward. She is not well. The last time I saw her, I felt scared looking at her eyes. Our daughter is with me now, and we've started the divorce process. My lawyer told me if my wife were to be taken to the mental ward, there was a good chance that I could get better than 50-50 custody. One should be happy hearing that, but I am just devastated how it'll affect our daughter. Many Redditors said in the comments that dating life after my 30s as a man is not good, and I'll probably be forever alone as no one will want me. The first thing is that I do not care. Our daughter is my first priority, and dating is the last thing I have in mind right now. The second thing is that I am confident in myself in every regard to finding friends and a partner. I think this sums up my update. I will be back maybe in a year, considering how long the divorce process takes when it's not amicable. Thank you.